Good morning, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. My name is Michaela Geis. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado, just a little bit north of Denver. And what I have behind me today is one of our used inventory pieces, taking you guys through another used one. It just came out, I think, last week, so it has not been through the shop yet. So we got another one of those. We're kind of gonna gonna kind of peek through with you guys today. Um, this one is a 2002 CM three horse gooseneck with your front tack. A little bit backwards, we're gonna have a front tack on this side today, so we're rolling with it this direction, but really great, just a nice size runaround trailer. It's in great condition for what it is, and of course, once they do get through our shop, they're in even better condition, so really a nice runaround trailer for anyone looking for something in this size with a little bit of age on it, but still tons of life left. So let's go ahead and start at our front tack here. Pretty standard front tack. We're gonna start at our door here. Obviously it has the window on it, which I always tell you guys is one of my favorite things just for ventilation purposes. It's gonna get air moving through this trailer. It does have the windows up in the nose and this one actually also has a crank up camper vent up in the roof as well. So you are gonna get a lot of ventilation with this one and I think it could actually be really great if you needed to maybe even spend a night in it. Throw a mattress up in the nose, you have that camper vent up there and then you have lots of windows. So if you did need to do that or kind of maybe take a couple hour nap, something like that, this trailer works great for that. And then our brush tray does have a brush tray on the door. No matter the size, this is always one of my favorite features to one, just as far as handiness, just grabbing stuff that once you open your door, it's right here outside of your trailer. You're not climbing in and out to get to stuff. Just whatever you need that's a quick grab, either for you and your trailer, you could even maybe keep some tools in here if you needed to do something like that never know when you're gonna have a Chicago screw come out of a head stall or something so maybe even keeping stuff like that in here and of course right now gosh last night those flies were miserable when I went home to ride so fly spray right here I'm going through that like crazy so I always want to keep it just immediate access right there so really just great storage there this one is standard width so it does have that full length running board for us to step up inside of here this one is a fully carpeted tack room here. We're going to have carpet up in the nose and your drop wall. So like I said, if you did need to spend some time up in here, spend a night or two, you're rodeoing for the weekend, you're horse showing, you're up at a trailhead and you're camping out, something like that. You do have that carpet, which works really well to spend some time up there. You do have a clothes bar over here. So if you are again, rodeo show, anything like that, you have that change of clothes. Maybe you're camping, spending the night, you need to bring extra rain jackets, you don't know what the weather's going to do here in Colorado. So just extra clothes there. We do have this mock boot box down here is what I'm going to call it because it does look like a boot box. It is fully carpeted, acts as your step to get up in here, but it actually has some really unique features inside of it. So this trailer does have a battery up front underneath the nose, but it also, we just got some extra parts with it. The customer gave some extra lights and stuff when they sold it to us, but it does actually have one of those shore cap shore power cords in here. So I'll show you guys when we get to the outside. It does pull straight out your trailer right here and then it kind of sucks back into here. Um, so if you do get somewhere and you need to plug it in, it's gonna give you power to this trailer. So if you were spending the night in here, you would have lights, which would be really great. And then this trailer does have outlets. It does have them in here and then I can show them to you guys outside as well, but it does have outlets. So if you are plugged into power, you can use those outlets too, which is really great. So you could charge your phones like that. You could plug in maybe a little mini space heater. You could plug in a little mini AC unit. So this works really well, again, to spend a night in or two even. And this is really great setup for that. They've done a lot of nice upgrades to it. And your removable saddle post here, your saddle tree, this post removable because this trailer does have that collapsible rear tack. So you're gonna have saddle pad bars. Looks like they have opted to put one down low and one up high. And then your carpeted saddle racks in the middle. These are just like our newer Cimarron's that we have here. They are fully adjustable. They do slide down, up and down, slide up and down on this track. So you can interchange them like that. If you wanted both of your pads down here, you wanted both of your pads up top, you can kind of swap them around. You can leave them as, it's, as is and slide them up and down wherever you need to. We do have a pass-through door here as well. So it will get us into our stall area. So again, if we were spending a night or two in this trailer, using it to camp out of it, using it to rodeo out of, um, show out of, anything like that, 
if you did have some dogs with you and you needed to let them out in there, they could spend the night in there, they could use the restroom in there, or just for storage purposes too, because your front stall has a stud wall on it, you could easily store all of your overnight needs right there. Uh, camping chairs are really great to bring with you. Um, just totes, bins, anything full of stuff that you might need to spend some time away from home, it fits really well in that stud wall. It's right there through your pass-through door, easy to access, you don't have to get out of your trailer. And then of course bridle hooks. We've got a couple sets up and down this wall. So lots of hanging needs there. I think really I could even see hanging some more over here too. Our shop does things like that. So if you guys are interested and you need a little bit more hanging space, I think I, ha I have a, about a million bridles, head stalls, tie downs, anything like that that I need hung up. I would need quite a bit more of those. So our shop could definitely do that for you, which is really nice. If you see something you need to add on, it is great to just ask our shop and see what they could do for you. And then outlets I was mentioning, we do have more outlets out here. So same as inside, we could plug in maybe a speaker out here if we were hanging out outside in, our, in those camping chairs, just enjoying the night. We could listen to some music, we could plug in, you know, if you plug in some sort of appliances, obviously you could bring propane grills and stuff like that. So just a really well set up, unique and compact size trailer for a lot of needs. Over on this side, it looks like I did lose my power. My battery box might have died or came unplugged. Sorry, guys. It does have a light up here that is movable. It does kind of rotate up and down, so you can point it wherever you need to. It is pointed down straight on top of these tie rings right now. You can point it out and shoot your light over here a little bit more if you needed it more for your horse space. But right here works as well. Just see what you're doing. We do have drop-down windows on the head side. And then the drop-down jail bars as well. So if you did need to step up in here, check on your horses, you're filling water buckets, filling hay bags, filling corner feeders. This one is set up for corner feeders. It's really easy to step up in here and just check on them. It's nice that you can get to them and get what they need to just stay comfortable on the road. And then our drop down windows do stay folded down. They clip in right here. So when you're driving down the road, and you want to get them that ventilation, they will stay down and they're not going to kind of blow up and down and end up cracking or something like that on you. We do have three tie rings for that three horse trailer. We can always add more of those if you're looking for more to either spread your horses out or tie up some friends' horses with yours, just anything like that. We did uh, put a brand new set of tires on this one. Our, we do go by DOT regulations. So when we do get trade-ins or buyouts, we are looking at tires that are within five years old. They all match and they have good tread. So this one probably, they might have just been out of date or something. I believe this one did have good tread when it came in, but we are very strict on those rules. We want you guys to be safe rolling down the road as soon as you leave here. So we threw on a brand new set and when it gets through our shop, it will be aligned too. So it is gonna pull straight. That is something that I thought was really cool when I got here and learned about that. I had no idea. So when I got here, I got to watch it be done. I had my personal trailer done. Um, I always get my trucks done. I never knew that was a thing. You always think about your truck driving straight. Who would have thought about your trailer pulling straight? All these potholes here, curbs, you never know when you're gonna get run off the road or something, making a sharp turn. Bring your trailer in, get it aligned, let it pull straight for you guys, and then really reduces your risk of a blowout or bad wearing tires. So let's step around to our load space. So I did mention earlier, it does have that collapsible rear tack on it. So you can stick, you can remove that saddle rack post from up front and install it back here. It's really easy to do if you wanted to move your tack back here. I think this is a really great space for, if you are, like I said, this one is so well set up to spend some time and spend some nights in camping or showing, stuff like that. I think this is a great space to store muck tubs, pitchforks and then hay and grain bring your horses feed with you we don't have a hay rack up here we can look at installing one in our shop for you guys we don't have mangers on this guy so we lost a lot of storage space with just that front tack up there but we gained it with this collapsible rear tack really great to store those messier items keep them out of that carpeted front tack room put them back here put your hay and your grain back here that way you're ready to spend some time in it and your horses are ready to spend some time in it but it is collapsible so it will this wall will fold up and clip up against the wall. If you did not need that space and you wanted more space inside of that stock area, we can do that as well. 
did get a couple more bridle hooks in back here for that hanging space. Maybe hang some brooms or your pitchforks up here. This post here though is permanent. So even if you do collapse that rear tack and give some more space in here, you're still just gonna have this space for loading, un loading and unloading. Looks like it is set up as that 60-40 setup though. So you do still get a 60% opening, which is enough space for most horses out there. If you have a trouble loader, maybe not so much, but any other horse will be fine with this space here. We do have solid dividers in here. They're not our airflow dividers. They're going to be solid ones. And then we do, like I said earlier, have that stud wall on your first stall here. Looks like it can be removed. If you did want to take that off, there are some people that prefer not to have them. It is great that you have the choice with this trailer. But again, this space up here works really well for storage since you do have that pass through door right there. Just getting in your items that you need to bring with you for longer trips, or if you don't need to do that and you're just going somewhere quick, you do have the space for three horses. And you could put one up there that maybe doesn't stand well next to others, doesn't get along with others. Um, you just have options with this trailer. And I did mention, when I was talking about our drop down windows, we do have it set up for a corner feeder in each stall. So we do have those 3D rings there. Can, I believe this one might come with corner feeders. I saw them in the trailer earlier when I was getting it set up to video. Um, we will we'll get those cleaned off and make sure that they're functional before we stick them in here. But you could also pick up brand new corner feeders from any ranch supply store and stick those in here. So it's nice that you have that. Or it does have two tie rings above each stall. So one for hanging, one for tying your horse, excuse me, and then one for hanging a hay net or a hay bag or even a water bucket if you prefer to do it that way versus the corner feeder. Everyone's got different preferences. Each stall will have a roof vent over it. They are two-way roof vents so you can open it, uh, push it open forwards to draw that air in and then push it open backwards to draw that air out. Get some really good airflow moving through this trailer. It does have that standard insulated roof. This is kind of a pre-Cimarron trailer. It is still constructed the same, just one of those earlier model years, I believe somewhere around 2004 is when they changed to Cimarron. So it is still that insulated roof, which is really great for just regulating the temperature inside of here for your horses. And then obviously we do have lights. They do work guys. I think I just lost my battery power, but we will have lights in here as well. And then even our um, folding rear tack here, it, is, it does have that kick mat all the way around it. So when it is in use like this, when your horses get up against it, they're not going to end up being on top of any aluminum or anything like that. So move around to our hip side. So over on this side, you're going to have those three sliding bus windows. Above that, you do have that light that does work, and then you can change the angle of it. Three more tirings. Again, we could add more of those if needed. And then over here, I wanted to point out, I was talking about way back in the beginning about that shore power cord. We saw it in the boot box and I showed you how it came out the trailer. So it's just right here. And all you're gonna do is just pull it out. And you saw how much cord was in there. So you could pull it out and plug it in. And then you could push it back in. It does go back in, or you could have someone inside kind of curling it up, or you could go inside and pull it through that way but it does tuck back inside of there. But I think it's just really cool to have that option on this trailer. You don't see a lot of just standard three horse gooseneck front tacks with power like that. And then to have those outlets, it's just a really unique trailer, really cool trailer. You guys can see it is super clean for being a 2002 as well. Again, it's got the new tires in the alignment and it will run through our shop to make sure everything else is good to go. They're gonna check the brakes, the bearings, the hubs. We're gonna check all our welds. They're gonna check our flooring for us. They're just gonna kind of run through everything else on this trailer to make sure it's structurally sound. And then they also are gonna go through and check holdbacks and clips and dividers and hinges and just make sure everything functions easily for you guys too. They are very, very detail oriented back there and they're gonna to wanna to make sure everything is tweaked and adjusted really well. So I think that's just a great thing to know that when these used trailers come in and they do go through that shop, they're not just gonna get washed and thrown out on our lot. We really pride ourselves in a good reputation of just putting quality trailers and safe trailers out there on the road for you guys. 
So knowing it goes through a shop process is really just peace of mind. So stock tag up here on this guy, you guys can check it out. It was again that 2002 CM three horse gooseneck. Our stock ID is gonna be 5U231048. Again, it's got that QR code there. So if you guys are walking the lot and you happen to walk by this one, open up your camera, scan that code. It'll take you to the webpage for that trailer. If you guys have any questions on this one, you wanna know, you wanna maybe wanna put a hold on it until it's through our shop process. Once it's through that shop process, I can actually get you a list too and show you what all has been done so you know exactly what the service records are on this guy. My name is Michaela Geis. All my contact info will show up on your screen. That is a cell phone, 303-918-6367. You can call or text, whatever works best for you guys. And then my email address is on there as well if you do prefer that. Michaela period, guys at transwest.com. Reference that stock ID or just tell me you were interested in that really cool used CM trailer and I'd be glad to help you guys out. I look forward to answering any questions you may have and I hope you have a great rest of your week and enjoy your weekend. Thanks for tuning in, guys.